Hey guys, today I want to show you how I mount my artist prints. Um, so here's one finished, a shop ready or ready to post out to a customer. Um, I'm going to go through how I got it to this stage. Um, so here is uh, a Glyke print or Glyke, Glyke print um, that I've had done of my cockerel watercolour. Um, so basically I want to put amounts around on it um, and then I'll be posting it out to a customer. So here, normally I use, um, I've got kind of a, a mounting tape. This, this actually is kind of for the back of picture framing. Normally I've got a white one, um, but this will do. It's archival and it's also like acid free. Um, that's important. Um, I've got gloves on. That I normally put gloves on for framing because I get like, you get your kind of greasy fingers on on the glass. Um, but I've got gloves on here today, which is making things difficult with the tape. Um, but there we go. So this is how I do it. I kind of, I put the tape on behind, so it's face up. Um, and then I lay the print on top. Um, so I've got my glove stuck to it again. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I just kind of move it down, put it in position and then drop it onto the tape. Um, there we go. Squish it down. I don't know how proper picture framers do it, um, whether they've got a better system, but this is how I do it. Um, I've just kind of worked out this is the most efficient way. So here's um, a mount. I don't cut them myself. I kind of order them in in bulk. Um, and so I know it's going to fit this particular print. Uh, I've made all my prints fit the one size so that I can just buy loads of one size. Um, and then there are some really good websites where you can get um, a print, uh, sorry, a mount, um, you know, a surrounding mount with a hole in like this, uh, a backboard and a cellophane. And it's a good idea to kind of get them all together in a group um, because otherwise, you, well, you, you don't know they're all going to fit perfectly. And if you buy them, they, they sell them in a batch. So, um, so yeah, you might get like 50 mounts, 50 backboards, 50 cellophanes, and you just know they're all going to be the same size, all fit, all lovely new. So that's like the best thing to do. Um, and then if you do want to sell a variety of sizes, then I suggest kind of picking one, two, maximum three different sizes if you're going to kind of sell a lot of prints because it just gets so confusing. <laughs> so yeah, I would just kind of stick to either, stick to one kind of format. Um, so there we go. I've attached it to the back. I've just done it top and bottom. And yeah, I've used this, um, framing tape, which isn't ideal, the brown, but there we go. Normally I use white. Um, so here's a backboard. So what I do here is I, I copied this from a, a framer. Um, I got a, I paid to have one kind of mounted and this is how it came back to me. So they put them together so that it opens like a book. So I'll show you what I do here. I just, so they make little hinges out of some more tape. So this is kind of going to be the inside. But yeah, I thought it looked really smart. Um, once it's in the cellophane, you just see kind of the front and then the backboard. Um, but yeah, it, but the, you know, the um, customer can, has the option to open it if they want to. Um, you know, I don't know if there's a signature inside or you want to put a certificate inside. Um, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, so they, you know, the customer has that option. So there you go. You make a little hinge out of tape. Um, and there, it opens like a book. So that's quite smart, I think. I thought it was. Um, and there you go. The, the kind of tape is on the inside, so it shouldn't stick to anything. And there we go. You, yeah, that would be nice to have the certificate inside. I didn't even think of that. With the limited edition number on and signed and that. So now what I do 
is I just take one of my business cards and I normally glue it, but I've run out of glue. So I've got some double-sided tape and I just stick it to the back. Um, I did kind of look into getting some stickers done um, and it's just so expensive. And I think actually it looks really smart. I've got like some nice quality kind of business cards. Um, you know, they're, they're nice satin finish and they look really smart stuck on the back. So that's what I do. It's cheaper than, you know, ordering stickers in and everything else. I think these um, business cards, actually, I printed them wrong. I've got the wrong email address on the back, so I need to get rid of them. <laughs> but there, the information's right on the front, so this is perfect. Just stick them to things so no one can see the, the mistake on the back. There we go, I peeled off the tape. Now I try and get it in the middle. It looks a little bit crooked to me, but there we go. <laughs> no, it's fine. So there we go, I think that looks really smart. Um, just kind of show you every different angle. And then yeah, they can open it up if they want to, so. Oh, just a bit of tape sticking out the side. Yeah, I just peel that back and um, cut it off and then stick it back down. Lovely. I think we're done. I think we're ready for the cellophane now. So yeah, just pop it in. It looks so smart. Um, you're quite proud of your work once it's like all mounted and everything. It makes a massive difference. So just with the business card, you've just got to notice you get caught on it, on the edge there, but there we go. And then peel the strip off the back um, and then it should be able to stick down. Yeah, I'm seeing your work in um, mounted like this. You think, oh God, that looks so professional. It takes it to the next level. So that's how I do my um, prints and get them ready for sale or to, you know, put in a shop or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so if you enjoyed that, please subscribe to me. Um, I've got loads of other videos on my Patreon. Um, I specialise in equestrian art um, on there, so it's um, mainly kind of how to draw and paint horses, um, but I also have other uh, videos about kind of how, how to be an artist um, from me and like what I get up to and how I do little things like this, which I think is really helpful. Um, there's so much more to being an artist than just drawing and painting. It's, there's so much business. So I hope this helped. Um, saved you a bit of time and money um, and let me know in the comments below if you've got any kind of better ideas or anything or links um, that would be great to know okay thanks um, check out my patreon and I'll see you next time thank you bye